hi hi happy new year everyone i hope you're having a good start to the year already so it's that time of the year where everyone has one project or the other one of those projects could be renting a new accommodation if moving to a new accommodation is on your radar then you're in luck because today we will be talking about the step-by-step -step process you need to get involved in when you're looking for a new accommodation in brisbane if that sounds like something you'd love to hear about then definitely keep on watching my name is faith and this is faces pulse You're welcome back guys so first you want to decide on the type of accommodation you want so think about how many people will be living in it do you want a townhouse do you want an apartment do you want a house i suggest that you research on the type of houses available here in australia because they have different names and you might get confused so there's a townhouse which i feel looks like the duplex there's the house which i feel is sometimes called the bungalow back in nigeria or in some other places there's also the units and then there's the apartment so please do your research before you decide on the type of house you want so the next step will be for you to get on rental sites and start to look for the type of accommodation you want and find properties that are available in the location you have chosen i will be leaving a list of these rental sites in my description box so make sure you have a look if you're in the market to find a new accommodation but yeah the most popular ones are realestate.com.au and there's also an app called tenant app so yeah those two are very popular but there will also be a long list in my description box if you want to consider those ones as well now for students on here looking for accommodation there's a website called ambassadent.com you want to check that out if you're looking for affordable accommodation for students the rates are affordable the booking process is seamless and you also have customer service representatives to attend to you 24 hours seven days in a week with amber students you can find accommodation in several cities in australia in the uk in the us in south korea ireland and spain so yeah you want to definitely check amber students if you are looking for affordable accommodation all you have to do is go to the website ambassadent.com check for accommodation according to where you are located click on the property that interests you and of course have a chance to inquire about the accommodation you are interested in to make this even more seamless i have partnered with amber students so there's a unique link in my description box click on that link to get started and trust me you'll be getting good value if you have questions please send me an email or just write them down in the comment section and i will be having a look and responding to them okay for the third step once you've looked through the rental sites in my description box or through amber students and you have found a property that you like you would want to request for an inspection inspection dates are usually mentioned under the property you have found but if there are no inspection dates there feel free to contact the agent there's usually an email address or a contact me form where you can write your questions and please make inquiries about the property you have seen and you are interested in so after requesting for an inspection, typically the next step will be for you to actually go inspect the property that you are interested in. On the inspection day, make sure you have a list of the things you want to look out for because it can be quite busy when you have too many people in the property. So check for things like your cabinet space, the size of the room, the garage space, what's, what's the kitchen like, what's the quality of furniture and fittings, the floor condition. So yeah, you want to check for things that are top on your priority when you're moving into a new apartment. Like I said, there might be a lot of people inspecting the property at the same time. But if it is a property you're really interested in, find time to speak with the agent and ask questions. Please feel free to ask questions to the agent, especially if you see yourself moving into that apartment. There will be so many people, but just be patient. Don't be in a hurry ask all the questions you have there and then so after inspecting the property and you really like it the next thing will be for you to apply for the property you have to indicate interest by applying like i said there might be so many people so do this as quick as possible ask the agents what platform will be used to send in your application it could be through the real estate website or they might direct you to use a platform like to apply make sure you fill the forms completely because when you have an incomplete form it reduces your chances to get approved for the property so please make sure you complete your forms you would also need to attach documents like your pay slip for three months consecutively you might need to attach your medicare card your driver's license or photo identification card so get all these documents ready and on standby because there are lots of people who will be applying for that property as well one thing to also take note of is you might need to provide 
two references so it could just be a friend and someone from works so you'll be asked to provide the contact of your previous agent if you've lived somewhere else so yeah just provide two references a close contact or emergency contact or somebody from work who can stand in for you so once your application is sent keep an open mind like i said this is not just you who's applying for this property there are lots of other people who will be applying to so just keep an open mind if you get a negative feedback that's okay just move on to the next property which reminds me make sure you're not just checking one property and putting all your eggs in one basket look through the websites and request to inspect as many properties as you can because you never know which of the properties will click if you get your application approved congratulations that means you have skills true what is usually done is the agents will send in the applications to the property owner which is also the landlord like we like to call it and he or she will determine who is fit enough to stay in the property they will consider things like your salary how much is coming in maybe if you have pets if you have a big family they just make sure that whoever they choose is you know fit to stay in the building you actually never know what they want so you just have to keep your fingers crossed and pray that your application gets chosen so like i said definitely keep an open mind regardless of what the outcome is going to be so basically after applications have been sent off you'll probably get a response between a day or two depending on how many applications they have to process if you get a positive feedback next step will be for you to sign an agreement the agents will probably send this to you through email and then you can just sign electronically through DocuSign and send it off to them once that is done as well they will expect your payment which is usually two weeks it could be more depending on what the arrangement is and then you'd also pay your bond which is actually four weeks of your rent so yeah you might be paying two weeks rent and also your rent for four weeks which is called the bond but know that this bond is usually given back to you when you eventually want to leave so you need to make sure it's kind of just helps you remember that you're on someone's property and you have to take care of it if at the point where you're living the apartment is not as tidy as you met it when you moved in then your bond will not be returned to you basically so it's just like something that ties you down or keeps you in check when you're living in that property so once payment is made which is your two weeks rent and your bond which is basically the value of your four weeks rent you will be given your keys and on the day you're given your key you would also get your entry report so the entry report is just a document that shows the current state of the apartment or the property when you moved in so it would also have pictures of all the areas in the house or if there's a broken door somewhere it will have pictures of all those things just for you to know what the apartment looked like when you were moving in be, be sure to check this entry report page by page line by line so that nothing comes to you as a surprise when you're ready to leave okay so yay final step will be to move in congratulations if you got approved the final step after you've received your key and signed the entry report will be for you to move in which is another process entirely but yeah that's basically the process you have to go through if you're looking to rent an accommodation here in australia so just to re-emphasize on what the bonding is for if you are moving out from a previous apartment into this new apartment you can request for your bond from the previous apartment to be given back to you but before that is returned to you you need to make sure the house is in good condition you might also have to employ the services of bond cleaners to clean every area of the house just so that the house is in good condition when the agents come to inspect it so at the point of inspection if there are no issues if everything is in order no broken windows no broken cabinets and doors your bond would definitely be returned to you that's something that every landowner or property owner or landlord wants to hear if they hear that your bond your bond was actually returned to you in your previous apartment they are kind of satisfied that you know you will take care of their property so when you're moving to an apartment try as much as possible to take care of the property very well no nails on the wall especially if they have mentioned that in the entry report or in your contract you need to make sure you're taking care of the furniture in the room in the house especially if the place was furnished just treat it the way you would treat your own apartment because guys you will not get your bond back if you don't keep the house in good condition also know that the agents will fix appointments to inspect the house every three months so if you're not around you would have to approve that they inspect the property in your absence this is also a good time for you to inform them about areas that require maintenance so guys that's all for today's video i hope you have enjoyed watching and of course if you're a student like i said and looking for affordable accommodation make sure you check out ambassador.com i have a unique link in my description box that will make the process very seamless for you so yeah go 
go ahead and click on that link if you're looking for affordable student accommodation in australia okay all right so that's all for today's video i hope you have enjoyed watching if you did enjoy the video don't forget to leave me a comment like subscribe leave all your questions and i will definitely get back to them see you in my next video guys bye just one glass in you're already on my mind when it gets late